Hey there, welcome to Table Tennis Philosophy. I've got uh, something for you to think about this morning. And uh, one of the things that people discover as they develop as table tennis players is they start to be, think that this is a complicated game, that um, watching the spin on the ball, breaking down what shot should have been done when, why they are sort of stuck at a low intermediate level. What What's happening? Why is this game so complicated? And I'm gonna give you a very different point on this that um, we'll probably, I'll probably get some blowback on this. Some people will totally disagree with me. And I'm gonna tell you that table tennis isn't that complicated. Most of the things that happen uh, teaching a forehand drive, teaching a backhand drive, teaching serves. It's not, it's not all that complicated. Usually it's three or four main points to get it across and, and that's it as far as teaching it. I'll give you an example of something that is often thought of as complicated the say reverse pendulum serve is something I'm not very good at. I can do it, but I have not been in the habit of doing it. Perhaps um, I heard somebody the other day talk about trying to execute a tomahawk serve and just couldn't do it. Why couldn't they do it? They were a decent player, been playing for years, but they hadn't been doing that particular serve for their whole life, so they found it difficult. Now, it's not complicated to teach, it's not complicated to show. What happens is that a lot of these things, well, let me give you one more example from a different sport. If I wanna to explain to you how to shoot a foul shot in basketball, or maybe even a three-point shot from further back, it can be explained. I've had it explained to me. I practiced it and was able to do it but I wasn't able to do it at the professional level. And this is, I think, where we get a little confused in table tennis. A lot of this stuff is not complicated, it's difficult. That's the difference. The thing that could be easily explained, a banana flick, a reverse pendulum serve, even a forehand loop or even a backhand block, a lot of those things are not easy to explain. They're not complicated. They're hard to do. They're hard to do consistently. They take hours and hours of practice. So here, I'll leave you with this thought. Don't, don't be uh, misunderstanding the game of table tennis that it's just too com complicated. Have some respect for the game and realize that some of it is actually fairly simple and can ex be explained and you can break down the physics of it and some of it's just basic body movements, moving your body in the correct way and repeating that over and over. It's far less complicated than it is, it's just hard. And if you haven't played, if you really haven't played tough players, if you're a beginner and you start playing tougher players, you'll realize it may seem complicated, and, and maybe sometimes it is, but mo much more so than that, it's a hard thing to do. It's a hard thing to do at a uh, higher level. To play a tough upper level player is not an easy thing to do, and to get to that level takes years of practice, as much and maybe more than a lot of other sports. All right, I'll leave you with that thought. It's not complicated. It's just tough. <laughs> okay. Uh, love to hear your comments on this. Thanks a lot. Bye.